All right, guys. So I'm going to start reading Who Are the Brothers Grimm. As you can hear, Carter is in the background playing. So hopefully we can ignore. Anyway, so chapter one. Actually, no, this is the preface. This is prior to chapter one. Once upon a time, an old peasant woman began. There was a queen whose husband has been found dead for many years, and she had a beautiful daughter. A young man named William Grimm listened attentively to the woman's story. The woman had likely heard it when she was a young child from her own mother. It was a German fairy tale called The Goose Girl. The fairy tale is about a magical charm, a horse who can speak, an evil servant, and a princess who seemed doomed to a life guarding geese for a king who believes she is a peasant. William had traveled out into the countryside of Germany to meet Dorothea Wiemann and listen to her stories. <laughs> she told him that 35 tales, and William wrote them all down word for word. It was 1813, and William and his older brother Jacob were in the middle of a big project. The brothers had just published their first book together, a collection of German fairy tales, and now they were working on the second volume. Jacob and William Grimm were serious scholars, but they loved listening to fairy tales. They thought children's stories were an important part of Germany, German history because fairy tales had been told and retold for hundreds of years. The tales showed how German language and culture had developed. But by 1813, fewer and fewer people were telling fairy tales to their children. Soon the Grimm's feared no one would remember the stories. Sounds like an oral tradition, guys. It was difficult for William and Jacob and William to collect fairy tales because the stories were not in books. Before the Grimm's, very few fairy tales had ever been written down. People only came to know a fairy tale because someone else had told it to them. To them. The only way to collect the stories were to listen to storytellers like Dorothea, who knew them by heart. What makes a story a fairy tale? A fairy tale is a quest story that is almost always about a very lucky hero who overcomes evil. A fairy tale also usually involves magic. There are imaginary creatures such as fairies, giants, dragons, and elves. Sometimes there are even talking animals. A fairy tale is set a long time ago in a faraway place and usually begins with a phrase, once upon a time. No one knows who first created fairy tales. These stories have simply developed over time. Sometimes storytellers change the stories slightly and added details as they went. Different versions of the same stories developed in different countries. In Germany, Snow White lived with seven dwarves, but in Albania, she lived with 40 dragons. Mothers and nursemaids told fairy tales like Snow White to children while cooking dinner, sitting by the fire, or before going to bed. Men and women also told these stories to one another while they worked, spinning wool or tending to their flocks. As William listened to, to Dorothea's stories, he never imagined that he and his brother would become fam famous. All he knew was that they wanted to write down these tales. William wanted new generations of children to know and loved Cinderella, Sleeping Beauty, Tom Thumb, and Little Ed Riding Hood as much as he did. All right, that's the end. So chapter one will be tomorrow. It's called Best Friends.